getting so cool here on The Early Show. Summer is just around the corner. It is the perfect time to get a new pair of sunglasses. And Early Show style contributor Katrina Zish is here with tips on how to get just the right style to flatter your face. Great That's to have right. you with us. Thanks for choosing this one for me. And they look fabulous on you. Thank you so much. And you also have chosen a pair for your face, which is an oval. An oval just like yours. And actually, most people have oval faces. And luckily for all of those people who do, they're one of the easiest face shapes to fit. You can wear almost anything. So I chose, also for you and for me, the cat eye inspired sunglass, Very which is hot. one of the hottest trends of the season. These are my personal Norma Kamalis. I wear them all the time. Norma, <laughs> the designer herself, even wears them. She had a prescription lens and she wears them all Very the time. Very smart. So Katrina, if we see you out on the street, we are going to see you in, in those. Glasses. Square. Square shaped face. Basically, obviously, that is the face shape where your jawline is strong. It's about equally as wide as your cheekbones and your forehead. So you want to look for something that we'll have Aaron put on here that's a little bit more rounded. Hmm. Now, we still have a little bit of angle at the top. These are from Lands End Canvas. But you can see on the bottom, they're rounder. And again, that's just counteract the angles of the face. And Aaron has a petite face, so you want to make sure you get something that's not too big that doesn't extend way beyond your temples. And those are $40, so you're not really blowing your budget on You're not. the sunglasses, which is and great. And still have the UV protection, as all of the sunglasses do, which and that's is important. number one priority. Absolutely. You want to protect your eyes. An oblong face. Yes. An oblong face is a little bit of an extension of the oval, but what you're trying to do is kind of make it look not quite as long. So here what we have on Dana is something that has a little bit of detail, as you can see, at really the temples. Cute. There's a little bit of a silver stripe there, and that really draws the eye up and it really also makes the face look a little bit wider so you're not focusing on that longer shape. And at six dollars from Forever 21 six it's a bargain bucks. and she it. looks fabulous I have to say. Trade fabulous. chic Dana, yes. The round face, what do we like for the round face in sunglasses? The round face again, sort of like square you're trying to do the opposite. If your uh, face is round you want something that has some angles on it. Mm -hmm. So here for Brittany what we did is we put on, we have some great um, sort of aviator inspired, but as you I can see, that. see, they're more square and they've got this metal rim and kind of a great gradient lens. And so the color's fun, they're on trend, but again, they counteract the roundness of her face. They add angles in a place where perhaps there aren't very many angles. And $36 from Steve Madden, another price point that people can probably yep. get to. Lastly, for women, the heart-shaped face. Yes. And there is a famous woman with what, this The shape. one person you can think of, Reese Witherspoon, is someone who has that heart-shaped face. And Orchidae here has a similar shaped face. Again, the cheekbones and the forehead are a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. The chin is narrower and, you know, a very more of a pronounced point at the chin. So here for Orchidae, we have a great pair that, again, it really draws the eyes up, and it is a little bit wider. This is where you can get some of those very Hollywood movie star inspired sunglasses. Again, these are $30 from Kohl's from the Lauren Conrad collection. And the detail on the side of these sunglasses also makes them special. But again, you're taking attention away from the chin and adding a little bit of angle. Really cute. And it also kind of shows off her cheekbones. Exactly. Peeking out underneath. That's really what cute. you want. I'm sure the men are uh, yes. really wondering what's right for me. In well, all of guys this. are hard because a lot of guys wear the sporty sunglasses that kind of hang around their neck. I mean, unless you're boating or something, I say skip those. The classic aviators, what we're going to have Brant put on today, and um, Brant's just going to slip those on. They're really uh, very flattering for almost every shape face. So that's an automatic go to for the guys, but be careful because you don't want them to be too big. All right. That's, it's most important to pay att attention to the size. So again, they're not too wide. They don't go down too far over your cheekbones. And these classic aviators from Zappos, Ray-Ban aviators, are the perfect choice for brands. Great stuff, Katrina. As you. always, we appreciate it.